man, the lighting is all over the shop today. It is going in and out and in and out. So uh, I apologize for that. It is about 10.20. So today we are doing the wear test review whole thing about the Sephora cream lip stains. These have kind of become like a cult product in the last couple of years. That it's like the Sephora brand, but it's just as good as some of the higher end brands like Kat Von D. A lot of people say that it's just like that. I think it's like much thicker than the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks, but that's just my opinion. Anyway, we will start as we always do with me reading off what Sephora has to say and showing you how the application process went. And I will note that when I was applying this, I accidentally like dipped out of the viewfinder. So sorry. Sephora says, what it is, a silky long lasting lip stain that keeps lips covered with bold color from AM to PM no need to reapply or touch up throughout the day. What it does, this best-selling high coverage lip color glides on smooth and transforms from a creamy texture to a silky lightweight stain. Infused with avocado oil, the long-lasting formula delivers rich color that feels comfortable, is never sticky, and won't dry out the lips. How to use, apply directly to the lips. Start in the center of the lips and smooth outwards towards the corners. Right off the bat, it makes a big claim that you don't need to reapply it or touch it up throughout the day, so that is very exciting, something that we can focus on, and it doesn't have like an hour like range that you should expect to wear it, but they say AM to PM, long wearing, all that thing, so let's hope that we can get like a good six, seven plus hours out of it. I did find with the application that when you pull out the doe foot, there's a little bit too much product on. So I had to kind of like dab it on my top lip to like save it for later, do the bottom lip and then do the top lip. I was able actually to get a fairly decent, like clean lip line without a whole lot of like fussing with it, which is great. And it's mostly to do with a very small doe foot. So that just makes it a little bit easier. It did feel very creamy and very easy to apply. And it is definitely super highly pigmented. I would say, mm, yeah. I'd give it 100% pigmentation. It is slightly sticky, um, and I think that's just because it hasn't perfectly set yet, but it has been a couple of minutes since I applied it, so let's hope that it doesn't take like a half an hour to fully dry. And that's really it. Um, I will check back in in a couple of hours to see how it is wearing, and I will see you then. It is now about 3.20, and the lipstick is holding up really well. That being said, I haven't been eating anything like really big that would, you know, melt away a lipstick. The one thing that does kind of annoy me is that I like was very specific while I was letting this lipstick like set and I just stayed, you know, smiling so that the lipstick would like stay in like the lines of my lips so that it wouldn't crack apart. This is something that I tend to do with liquid lipsticks that are like dry and matte because that way if you just like put it on, your lips are like this. You move it and then it just like crackles, you know what I mean? So I let it dry with my lips stretched out, but it's still starting to get that kind of crackiness around the lines of my lips. Not thrilled about that and it's probably going to affect its wear down the line today when I'm going to be eating like a larger meal. But that being said, I mean it looks pretty fantastic. You don't notice the like crackiness until you're pretty close in the mirror. So you know, the average person is not going to be like, whoo girl, your lipstick. The lip line is still nice and crisp, which is ugh, something that I need. And honestly, it does look really nice from like any distance further than, I don't know, a foot. But that's all I have for you right now, and I will check back in in a little bit. So don't mind my halfway makeup-free face. I literally was just like, ah, oh, I'm tired. I'm gonna take off my makeup and go to bed. I grabbed a little bit of my cleansing oil, went straight into the eyes, looked at myself in the mirror, and went, you didn't finish filming this video for today. So I very carefully removed like the face of makeup and my eyes and left the lips. So obviously a little bit of cleanser did like go over the lips, but I didn't rub it, didn't touch it. This is what it is. It is worn off the inside portion of the lip quite a lot um, as opposed to the outside, which is actually looking really good. When I, my mouth is closed, it looks perfectly fine. And then if, if I'm like talking or moving my lips, then you kind of notice that it is wearing off. But I also put this on almost 12 hours ago. <laughs> so we can check off that long wearing claim. It's fairly vibrant still, which, you know, it's pretty impressive. And um, my lips don't feel too dry, but they are definitely drier than they were this morning. It's starting to get chapped in that same area that my lips always get chapped. But the outside portion of my lips is not feeling the dryness, so 
take that as you will. But as always, I will have the full write-up review whole shebang on the blog later today, lipstickaday.com, and I will see you next time.